all right guys welcome back again let's see how to load our data okay in order to load the data first and foremost thing what you need to do here is that we need to import few libraries so before that what i'll do here i'll insert the text and i will write down here saying that let's say three hashes and let's say this is the loading the time series data or let's say load the data so now let's see how to load the data so in order to load the data let me do one thing let me minimize all these things so that i can see the nice view of my um collab notebook so let's import all the libraries so basically we need to import the three important libraries one is numerical python and second one is pandas spd and third one is matplotlib so apart from that i need to import one of the important library is seaborn so import seaborn as sns perfect just execute all these commands and you have now imported successfully all the libraries let's see how to load the data using pandas load the data using pandas so in order to load the data let's use this pandas library pd dot read and try to remember i'm trying to read my excel file so what i need to do here is that i need to use the command read excel and the give the path here which is the path is since it was in data folder and followed by my file name it is dbrog i'll just double click and let me uh, take the file name and just copy it so this is the name of the file okay yes and dot sl sx and that's an extension and what is the sheet name i just want to read here so you can see i was interested in the sheet number two just mention the sheet sheet name equal to sheet two all right so let's look in the head of the whole head of this and so we are having the years and sale has been successfully executed and we have loaded our data successfully all right so first and foremost thing whenever you have the data with you and what you need to do here is that you look into the what is the data type and the is there any missing values are there or etc everything you need to check so use the command info so what i'll do here df.info and what i'll get here is that all the entries and i can see there are 108 entries and there are no null out there everything is full and uh, what i can see in the sales it is an object sorry it is a float 64 of course i'm having the float values here and this is the data type is date time 64 so make sure what are the data you have you need to change the data type into date time 64 so if it is not in the date time 64 you need to convert that into the date time 64 format hey guys thanks for watching this video in the upcoming videos we are going to watch about the powerful visualizations on time series data like area plot bar plot heat maps etc so we are going to see all those things in this upcoming videos please find the description for the urls below on the visualizations on time series data and don't forget to subscribe our channel data science anywhere for more videos and projects on data science thank you very much and happy learning